The Beacon's located in Pink Hill Boulevard in Beaconsfield. It's actually a really special project. It's a large parcel of land, so it's over 12,000 square metres of land, and we're separated into 10 land lots and two super lots. So what we're able to do, subdivide 10 of the lots into individual house lots, and then the two super lots, we designed 24 townhouses on there. And they comprise of three and two bedroom townhouses. Um, so it's a nice mix in terms of a development for the demographic of the area. The reason why we chose Beaconsfield, it's located between Berwick and Officer. Now, if you look at Berwick as an area, Berwick is, is one of the, the more uh, affluent areas in the southeastern corridor of Melbourne. Um, and Beaconsfield is a quite small suburb. So when we're looking at an opportunity such as a development, it's great to be able to find a parcel of land in a small area. So you've got low supply, high demand, and therefore you're going to obviously achieve a good profit in terms of that development. So that pocket in Beaconsfield, it's a very unique little pocket. There's two sides of Beaconsfield. There's the right side of the highway and the left side, or the wrong side of the highway and the right side of the highway, if you, if you call it. And we're on the right side. And really, it's kind of like the last little bit of large block of land in Beaconsfield. Otherwise, it's new house lots or old house lots that you need to redevelop. The reason why we, we went down the, the, the mixed style of a development is you got to look at growth in, in our population. Now, if we're just looking at traditional house, house and land style accommodation, there's going to be a limited amount of supply. So we're trying to bring to market a little bit different to what you would traditionally get. And looking future-wise of where the demographic is going to go, people want to move out, COVID especially, where you need to have more accommodation. People don't want to live so close together. Maybe they want to share with their parents. They want to move into their own place. But to buy something in Beaconsfield or Berwick, you're talking over a million dollars. Whereas you can buy a townhouse for six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars So it's affordable in that first home buyer's market. So you've got townhouses where you don't have to pay house prices and you can still get a three bedroom or two bedroom variety of a townhouse to, to live in. That's something that we thought, you know what, we'll take advantage of what's happening in the market, bringing more first home buyers into the market. And that's by providing the townhouse product. The townhouses themselves are modern and they'll be beautifully designed over three levels, some two level, street access, some nice common ground where all the owners can then play around with their kids if they've got kids because the demographic of the area is more leaning towards children, families, etc. orientated. And it's just a great place to live. I mean, you've got everything around, schools, shops, transportation, amenities. I mean, you name it, Beaconsfield has it. When you look at investing as, as normal, you look at trying to de-risk the project or any opportunity that you're looking into. And a, a project like this, as it's already been spanned over a couple of different stages, right now, we've already got plans and permits. Everything's ready to go. It's completion wise, you're, you're probably only about 12, 18 months away from completion, getting your, your profit uh, returned. And it's something that you don't have to uh, have plans and permits waiting to see if it actually happens. So it's, you know, and you've got price rises potentially because look where the market is today, who knows where the prices are gonna end up because it, the prices is just going up and up and up. And as we're now opening up, it's only gonna get better and better.